High school sports fans, are you following Varsity Media on our YouTube channel? For the best coverage of New York high school sports, make sure you head to youtube.com slash varsity media. Three easy steps. First, hit that like button, and then be sure to subscribe. And finally, tap that yellow bell to be notified of all of our upcoming sportscasts. Thank you for following Varsity Media on YouTube. High school sports fans, Varsity Media Pass is the exclusive live stream partner of Nassau County Playoffs. For semifinal and championship coverage of boys and girls lacrosse, softball, and baseball, head to varsitymediapass.com to order. Varsity Media is the home for New York high school sports. Thank you for joining us from Manhasset High School for a battle of two of the best, not only in New York State, but in America. Cold Spring Harbor comes in ranked 15th in the nation, undefeated at 6-0, playing their fifth game in seven days. Manhasset, likewise, is unbeaten through three games, two years removed from a state title and looking to notch a signature win. It's Seahawks and Indians in a battle of undefeateds right now on Varsity Media. I'm Gavin Shaw. Thank you so much for joining us. Rain-soaked day. We've been delayed an hour. Cold Spring Harbor getting into a bus accident on the way here. Fortunately, no one harmed. And everyone's here and ready to play some lacrosse. So let's take you through the undefeated Seahawks. And they have some standout talents this year. The conversation with Cold Spring Harbor has to start with Amelia Bentley, a senior attacker, a Drexel commit returning all-county performer a year ago. She has gotten off to a monster start to this season. 24 points, 20 goals, and 4 assists. Jenna Kessler, one of the better defenders in Nassau County, also returning all-county, a Rochester commit. She's coming off a hat-trick against Long Beach in a game where Cold Spring Harbor was struggling in the second half. She helped carry them to victory down the stretch. Though the depth certainly doesn't stop there, the Seahawks, despite... Being a Class D school boasts one of the most talent-filled starting lineups on Long Island as we take a look. Amelia Bentley, we mentioned her, leading off the attack. Gianna Coke, or Sienna Coke, rather, Gianna Marino joining her there. And then in the midfield, it's Kelly Callahan, Ryan Reynolds, Maggie Speer, and Ruby Spielberger. Reynolds, the leader of that group. She is a Maryland commit, hyper-athletic, and will certainly be at the top, along with Bentley, of Manhasset's scouting board on defense. Kessler, Rachel Louie, Michelle Coles, Zoe Soskin starting for the first time, and her twin sister, Maya, one of the better goalies in America. We'll take you to her next. Maya Soskin, a four-star commit to the University of Florida, and she has had a monster season, her third year starting a 19-save performance earlier this year against Southside, a game in which Cold Spring Harbor also got into a bus accident, so maybe that gets Maya Soskin blood pumping, um, and she's due for another big-time performance as a returning All-American. We'll take you to Manhasset in just a sec, as the Indians have started this year 3-0, and three games, three big victories over Syosset, Long Beach, and then escaping a tight one against Wontaw, 13 to 12. As they have two impact talents to note in Shea Panzik and Matty Chun. Shea Panzik, a Vanderbilt commit, hampered all of last year by an ankle injury. 20 points, 13 goals, 7 assists. She's been dominant to start off her senior year. And then Matty Chun doing work against some of the top attackers in Nassau County, a Dartmouth commit vocal leader of the defense. She is dominant one-on-one. -on -one. 
Manhasset, as you'd expect, a star-filled starting lineup. Plenty of D1 commits throughout. We'll tell you about all of them throughout the game. We already mentioned Panzic, Mia Lapinto heading to USC, Cassidy Harley, her first year starting, and fresh off of injury from a year ago, Nicole Giannakopoulos, super talented, heading to Harvard. Holly Newman, Lauren Perfetto, Taylor Gordon round out the midfield. Maddie Chun leads that defensive group. It's Nicole's younger sister, Alexia Giannakopoulos, stepping up this season. Lena Schlafer, Sophie Mineroff, and, of course, goaltender Ruby Cassiopo in the mix as well for Manhasset. And Cassiopo, a sophomore starter, the first eighth grader in recent Manhasset history to start at any position, considered one of the top goalies in America in her age group. So we'll step aside for the national anthem. When we return on the Varsity Media Sports Network, we'll have keys to the game in the opening draw control. It's Manhasset, Cold Spring Harbor starting next. Varsity Media offers live streaming services for any sport. With human beings behind the camera, you can expect the proper coverage angles during each game. We offer customizable options such as live scoreboard, multiple cameras, instant replay, graphics, and even announcers. Find out how you can save $100 off a live stream package with Varsity Media by calling 516-403-2050 or email Ben at Varsity Media. Did you know Varsity Media now offers action photography for all sporting events? Available for individuals or teams, we'll send dedicated photographers down to field level to capture your best moments. Our rates are affordable and our photos will leave you with lasting memories for a lifetime. Contact us today, mention this ad, and get $25 off your first order. Email Ben at varsitymedia.net or call 516 516- 403-2050. Honored America here on Varsity Media. Now we're ready to play some lacrosse. Let's get into our keys to the game today for Manhasset and Cold Spring Harbor. Two great teams. They play every year, and it always seems to come down to the wire. So the, the margins that will decide this one for Cold Spring Harbor holding their own on draw controls. The Seahawks at just 30% on draw controls this season. If the team has a weakness beyond the relative lack of depth compared to Manhasset, it is draw controls. That is an area they're going to have to do better. Daniel Castellane knows they can't continue to rely disproportionately on their defense. And Maya Soskin, they have to push the pace. They've played far better offensively all season long when they've played fast they're more confident they actually make less mistakes when they play faster and ultimately they're going to need another big game for Maya Soskin they can have possession a little bit more they can win some draw controls they're still going to need Soskin to stand on her head for Manhasset dominate time of possession right the flip side of Manhasset winning those draw controls if Manhasset can not only win draw controls but not turn it over get quality shots they have an excellent opportunity to win this one Take advantage of a tired opponent. This is the fifth game in seven days for Cold Spring Harbor. They are exhausted. I'm sure being in their second bus accident in a week only amplified that. Um, Manhasset has a chance to come out here, come out hot, put this game away early. Quick ball movement on offense for Manhasset. When the Indians have struggled this year, it has been because they have played a little bit of iso ball. They have so much talent. There isn't necessarily one person you can focus in on like you can with an Amelia Bentley um, or a Ryan Reynolds on the uh, Cold Spring Harbor side of things. You, you go up and down the Manhasset attacking seven. It's D1, D1, D1. But if they don't move the ball, Cold Spring Harbor can certainly contain them. So we are getting ready to get underway at the draw control circle for Manhasset. It is Taylor Gordon coming out there for Cold Spring Harbor. Going to be Amelia Bentley. She's just 24% on draw controls this year. Gordon has been far better than that, so could be an advantage towards Manhasset. It's the Indians in the white, orange, and navy blue. It is Manhasset in the blue, white, and red. You're on the Varsity Media Sports Network as we're about to get underway to the premier clubs again, not just in Nassau County, not just 
on Long Island, not just in New York State, but in the country. Gordon able to peel it out. Cold Spring Harbor battling hard. They have been fixated on improving those draw controls. And it will be Seahawks ball off a infraction against the Indians to start things off. Sent back to X to Bentley. Moved to that position a year ago, and she has improved dramatically. Was already a really effective player. Has become a monster since moving to X. Swung across by Callahan. As Bentley looks to pick out a cutter, will attempt the crease roll. Bentley cut off. Bentley looking for space, draws two. Patient opening possession here from Cold Spring Harbor. Here's Ryan Reynolds, the Maryland commit. That's going to be a heck of a matchup between her and Lauren Perfetto. Callahan taking her time. Hot start to her. Your 15 points, nine goals, six assists. Trying a little bit of bully ball, but she's cut off well by Lena Schlafer, the first-year starter for the Indians. Gimmon Hassett likes to play up-tempo in their, at their best in transition, going against a settled defense this time around against Manhasset. Doesn't matter. Spin and a finish for Amelia Bentley, beating Rudy Ca Ruby Cassiopo, excuse me, to that top right corner. Bentley is coming off a monster performance in that win over Long Beach. Eight assists in that one. Or excuse me, uh, Bentley on the season, 20 goals and three assists. Now 21 goals and three assists. And there's another draw control win for Cold Spring Harbor. So here comes Bentley again. Bentley, for the most part this year, when she has won on draw control, it's been knocking it out to the wings and, and letting her perimeter players pick up the ground ball. That time, a self win against Taylor Gordon. Really impressive start for her. And for Cold Spring Harbor, across the board in that circle, get 30% on the year, two for two to start off this ball game. Ruby Spielberger trying to get going. Bentley again operating from X. Was reluctant to move to X initially. Was just comfortable playing up top her entire life. Now you see what kind of passer she is. The quarterback from there was Reynolds. Couldn't put it in Cassiopo. The sophomore did a nice job cutting off the lane to the cage. So reset for Cold Spring Harbor. Nine and a half minutes to go first quarter. For those of you who haven't watched girls high school across this year, it's a big time switch. Previously two 25 minute halves. Now similar to the boys game, four 12 minute quarters. And a penalty goes against Manhasset's Maddie Chun. So be free position here for Bentley. About 10 yards out. Bentley staring away as if she's going to pass, maybe trying to set up a look at the cage. She will pass. Here's Reynolds. Reynolds had it knocked away. Getting a stick in there was Gianna Coppolis. That is a high-level matchup. Maryland commit against the Virginia commit. Two of the best programs in Division One. Bentley on the post up. Reynolds. Ow! Heavy traffic for Marino. Now straight on free position for Marino. Man, you can see the electricity running through Cassiopo. Not wanting to go down 
Marino will dish it out. Now Reynolds pours it in. On the duck in the Maryland commit. Her 12th goal of the season. So Marino not a big time scorer, just two goals this season. Instead the set play threw it out to spare. Reynolds on the cut. Did a really nice job catching Sophia, Sophie Mineroff looking the other way. And Ryan Reynolds able to take advantage. Reynolds has had a really good start to this year. Yeah, Daniel Castellane's expectations are she was going to be even better by the time this season has ended, filling some big shoes with the graduation of Ava Van Ty two years ago, Hannah, or excuse me, Ava Ty two years ago, Hannah Van Son last year. And as a junior, Reynolds expected to be the alpha of this offense. It's been Bentley so far this year. Reynolds right there with Maya Soskin for the most talented member of this Cold Spring Harbor lacrosse team. So third straight draw control victory for Cold Spring Harbor. Clearly put in a lot of practice time into that. They haven't had a lot of practice time recently. This is their fifth game in seven days. Tired team, but also one in rhythm. Spielberger dodging from up top, denying the screen from Spare. Reset from Spare. An insanely scrappy player, according to her head coach, and a big time takeaway from Manhasset. And streaking the other way is Taylor Gordon. Full of speed. We'll leave it off to Cassidy Harley. Trying to recenter it is Lapinto. And now Manhasset will slow things up. It was a much needed. Forced turnover for the Indians. Halfway through the first quarter had not touched the ball on offense. That'll change right here. It is a absolutely loaded group for first year head coach Jackie Williams. Filling some big shoes, replacing two time state champ head coach Meg Clark who resigned two weeks before the start of the season. Pump and go, Lapinto speeds it in. Beating the All-American Maya Soskin. So Pinto pump fake, duck in, high to low. Yeah. Well, like Two-handed, almost chopping wood style shot. The USC commit statistically has gotten off to a slow start this year. Just three goals through three games. That might be changing quickly. So Kim and Hassett find some rhythm in the circle going to Warren Perfetto here after the slow start for Taylor Gordon. Bentley three for three to open things up. Official gets them set. It's Jerry Cunningham teaming with Carrie and Torino, and Manhasset will get the ball back. Oh, look at the speed! Oh man, pure electricity for Gianna Kopolis. All that work for Cold Spring Harbor to build up the two nothing lead, and Manhasset. Ties the game in a matter of seconds. Gianna Kopolis never tagged. The spectacular Soskin couldn't quite get there. And, and you can see a targeted strategy from Jackie Williams of Manhasset try to go at Soskin low. Two shots, two goals. Soskin did not play, at least by her standards, particularly well last game against Long Beach in... Struggling a bit to hold up here against maybe the most talented group of shooters she's faced. The, again, she was excellent when Manhasset beat Victor at the time, the 
ninth ranked team in America. Cold Spring Harbor now ranked 15th in the country according to the USA Lacrosse Bowl. Manhasset will certainly enter the top 25 with a win tonight. The Seahawks now four for five in the circle. And going to work is Ruby Spielberger. Spielberger has it checked out of her stick. Big time ground ball for Sienna Koch. Excellent bit of defending by Taylor Gordon, nearly forcing her second turnover. Little post up here for Kelly Callahan. Cut off well by the double team. Callahan will lose the ball on the check from Perfetto. Shooting space violation though, so free position coming up for Kelly Callahan. A lot more confident this season. Excellent, well-rounded player. Callahan goes low. Cassiopo gets lower. Cassiopo considered one of the best goaltenders in the class of 2026. As Manhasset beats the ride, Sophie Minneroff projects the ball across the field. Manhasset will slow things up on offense. Again, one of our keys to success today for the Indians, their ability to quickly move the ball. At times, they have so much individual talent, tend to fall into iso ball and stagnation on the offensive end. Manhasset will keep it on a physical bit of defending for Michelle Coles, who's a playmaker for Cold Spring Harbor. Cold Spring Harbor last season under 17th year head coach Daniel Castellane switching to a backer zone. Trying to be more aggressive defensively, force the issue. Aggressiveness comes back to bite them there as it's a free position coming up for Lauren Perfetto, the senior heading to Loyola. Looking for her eighth goal on the year. Perfetto ducks in and Soskin came out to knock her down. Crease violation, Perfetto. Stepped into the holy circle. So Cold Spring Harbor will get it back. You'll see that from Soskin a lot often. Acting as an extra defender. Not afraid to clear the ball up the field by herself. Though against a ride as athletic and tenacious as Manhasset. She might be a little bit more hesitant than usual to do that. Louie across the field. Poked away. Illicitly by Gianna Coppolis. Not it would have been a one on one with Maya Soskin for Gianna Coppola's. Now Zoe Soskin able to beat the ride. And as Cold Spring Harbor settles in to offense. Division one talent across the board for both these teams. Manhasset has just three players in their starting line have not committed to Division I school, and two of them are two of the better sophomores in New York State, and Taylor Gordon and Ruby Cassiopo will certainly be heading that way in the next few seasons. Was that a goal? No, it was not. Not sure if Bentley stepped in the crease or Cassiopo just saved it in time. Might have been a mom goal where it just hit the back of the net and looked like it was inside the cage. Here's Alexia Giannakopoulos to Virginia commit. A junior who had to grow up fast last season. With Manhasset missing a ton of players due to injury. The Indians though developed depth they otherwise wouldn't have had this season. Holly Newman has been a fixture on this team since she was a sophomore, number 18 in white. Pass fired close to the cage, and there's a third goal. Shea Panzik, her 14th on the season. And with less than a minute to go in the opening quarter, the Indians have scored three unanswered. 
So back to Soskin. How about that physicality on the last shot? And here we go on this third goal. It was Shea Panzik off a nice pass, I think. I think it was Giannakopoulos who lasered it in. And that's a bad sign for Cold Spring Harbor. They are four for five in the circle, but trailing three to two. Perfetto this time will win it to herself. In kickoff transition, here's Newman. Cassidy Harley, the Wake Forest commit, will slow things up for the moment. Panzik gets ready to go to work for Max Panzik. So dangerous back there, super physical. Jackie Williams calls her a powerhouse. The Cold Spring Harbor have to constantly be tracking her. And a hit to the head. So free position for Cassidy Harley. Very rare that you, you see a player heading to a school like Wake Forest and you say they're a first year starter, but that is the case for Harley. Panzik trying to step down and shoot, cut off by the double team, just 10 seconds to go in the first quarter. Panzik cross field, tough catch made by Perfetto. Perfetto trying to recenter, bat it away. Cold Spring Harbor will come up with the ball and that'll do it for quarter number one. The Seahawks struck first two consecutive goals. Since then it's been all Manhasset, three in a row, the last one by Shea Panzik as they've gotten the better of the All-American Maya Soskin in the early going. So we'll step aside. It's quarter number two coming up next. 3-2 lead for Manhasset after 12 minutes. You're watching Varsity Media, New York's high school sports network. Here's Dante! Does Terrific it again! defensive play. Dante Madaro. Steps up and scores. The jump shot for Nell. Feel like your game film is too stagnant and not providing you with the insight that your coaches had hoped for? Varsity Media offers game film to help your coaches develop a game plan to execute on game day. Our current clients love the Varsity Media difference, which includes more insightful camera angles and a speedy upload process. Start building your championship team today with award-winning individuals at Varsity Media. Yeah, let's do, let's do Book of Sports cast then. Thank you for joining us back here at Manhasset High School, a look inside Jackie Williams Huddle in her first year leading this program at a Delphi graduate in 2014 and longtime assistant under Meg Clark taking over two weeks before the start of the season and she said her team has adjusted to it great because I mean that can be a shock to lose your head coach for these seniors their head coach all four years and they've acclimated well to it. And we wanted to remind you, you can let Varsity Media broadcast or lacrosse games, great for rivalry games, homecoming, senior day, and playoffs. All you have to do is email varsitymediasponsors at gmail.com or call 917-470-0864. Mention this ad to get 25% off your sports cast. I might book one for my pickup basketball game this week. And the second quarter about to get underway. Three straight goals scored by Manhasset. The area of concern coming in again was draw control. They won four of six in the first quarter. And despite that, Manhasset come up with a couple big stops. Ruby Cassiopo, a nice save. And offensively, the Indians are clicking. Gold piece for Shea Panzik, Mia Lapinto. And Nicole Giannakopoulos. Cold Spring Harbor, their fifth. Draw control victory in seven tries. 
And there have been times this year where they've tried to take the air out of the ball, tried to be methodical. And it, it's counterintuitive because a lot of times, or especially early in the season, you'll hear coaches say, yeah, we just got to settle in. We're playing too fast. And, and Daniel Castellane actually wants the opposite. She feels like they've been more mistake prone. She calls back to that last game against Long Beach where they had a 10 to 5 lead at halftime. Totally exhausted. Fourth game in about six days. And when they tried to slow things up, the ability of Long Beach to win draw controls allowed them to take control of that ball game. Shot missed that time by Reynolds. And it'll be Manhasset ball. Taylor Gordon so often used to win these rides. Super skilled, super fast. Pushes it ahead to Holly Newman. And Harley will press pause, but only for a sec. Here's Panzik. Panzik draws the slide. Step down shot. Saskin on top of it. Gianna Kopolis was looking for her second goal. Push ahead to Ryan Reynolds. To hear instructions from Jackie Williams telling her team to body up defensively, not to give up the easy switch. Coming in from Max Bentley. Lofts it in. What a cut. What a finish. Maggie Spare, perhaps the smallest player on the field, sneaking in and putting that shot home. The quote from Danielle Castellane has an innate ability, or this is a paraphrase, to make plays. She has no business making. Squeezing behind the defense and knows what to do with it. One of the most accurate shooters on the team ice in her veins and then sometimes you'll you'll talk to coaches and, and, and you know that they love all their players but you hear them talk about one and you can just kind of tell that, all right, that she's, she's, she's one of the favorites that they've ever had that, that is Maggie Spare with Danielle Castellan cannot say enough good things about her junior who just put in her 11th goal of the year tied this one up at 3 apiece 9.41 to go in the third quarter Jump ball on the draw control, and Manhasset evens it up in the second quarter. One apiece. Gianna Coppolis circling. Tilting this Manhasset backer zone. Swing in front of the cage. Gordon had it pop in and out of her stick. And now Zoe Soskin has to survive the ride, but bounces right to Maya Soskin. Maya Soskin, loudest player on the field at all times, yelling for some help to come back. Here's Rachel Louie. This is an area she's gotten far better in previous years, not super confident with the ball on her stick. She has improved dramatically in that capacity and single-handedly beats the Manhasset ride, crosses midfield, and you'll see Daniel Castellane help out her junior, taking the timeout. We'll take one as well. 8.32 to go in the second, all tied up at three. Cold Spring Harbor looking to regain the lead when we return on the Varsity Media Sports Network. High school sports fans, Varsity Media Pass is the exclusive live stream partner of Nassau County Playoffs. For semifinal and championship coverage of boys and girls lacrosse, softball, and baseball, head to VarsityMediaPass.com to order. Varsity Media is the home for New York high school sports.
Are you a local business looking for new and creative ways to promote your company? Varsity Media offers affordable rates that can get your message across to a demographic of 18 to 54 years of age. Our follower base across social media is over 50,000 strong and our viewership numbers per game are in the thousands. Don't blow your advertising budget on old staples like TV and radio media. Reach out to Varsity Media to get the best bang for your buck. 3-3 3-3 bald game. Danielle Castellane trying to fire up her team. And let's take a look at the upcoming schedule for Cold Spring Harbor. Man, the challenges just do not stop. They take on North Shore, still recovering from the loss of Kylie Colbert, but excellent as always. Travel to play Sacred Heart on the private school side of things. Home game against Garden City. Uh, Gains for Brains game against William Floyd. Perennially one of the powers out of Suffolk County. Wrap up the regular season. Seaford, Massapequa. Uh, defending state runner-ups, and Wontaw. So that'll be a heck of a run for Cold Spring Harbor. Daniel Castellane playing the hardest schedule of any Class D school in New York State. I can't I can't prove that. It's a totally subjective statement. I just cannot imagine a D school playing a tougher schedule than that, not just in New York State, but in terms of equivalent enrollment size anywhere in the country. Nationally ranked team after nationally ranked team and essentially all the best on Long Island. Reynolds able to beat the ride. Reynolds still unencumbered. And now will bait a shooting space violation. Ryan Reynolds. It was Gianna Kopolis who just had to take the penalty to stop a Wide open run on the cage. Reynolds, the Maryland commit to duel with Cassiopo. Man, Cassiopo just has such an athletic stance. You feel like there's a jolt running through her. Now there's a goal flying by her. Reynolds, second of the game, and Cold Spring Harbor has the lead once again. Ryan Reynolds nearly automatic in these situations. Went stick side on Cassiopo who could not flip the netting to save the shot. Cold Spring Harbors won five of eight, make it six of nine. Ryan Reynolds rotating in for Bentley. And winning it cleanly. Reynolds has been a little bit better than Bentley on the year. 36%. Olivia Mulata into the game for Cold Spring Harbor. Freshman with a lot of potential. Star point guard on their Nassau championship winning basketball team. In fact, 14 of the 15 players on the basketball roster also... On the lacrosse team, some natural overlap with Rory Malone coaching the basketball team and assistant on lacrosse. But Daniel Castellane made the point that these girls have just developed an incredible chemistry at this point of the year, having played a full soccer season and basketball season together. Cassiopo blocked the shot, but hit on the head was Callahan. So she'll get it on a restart with plenty of space. And you see Cassiopo really stretching it out. Callahan races in. Callahan bounces low and an excellent recovery from Chun. Apparently an illicit one. So we'll run it back. Looked like a great play by Chun. Getting in there to deflect that shot. Apparently illegally. Callahan on the reset. Nearly halfway through the second quarter. This time we'll pass it out. Reynolds in tight and pouring it in is Spielberger. A laser to the top left corner. And we've seen that twice now. Free position for Cold Spring Harbor. And instead of just racing in blindly... 
tic-tac-toe passing. Kick to Reynolds. And it is so smart to make that first pass to Reynolds because the entire defense naturally is going to flow towards her. Manhasset slid her way. Spielberger sneaks behind. And Reynolds is tall too, so she can see over the top of the defense. And an easy finish for Spielberger, who's an excellent finisher. And someone Daniel Castellane, noting has seven goals already on the season, but expectations are even higher for her, saying she should probably have more than that. Well, now has eight. Taylor Gordon back in on the draw control, and Manhasset going to get this one. Holly Newman takes the ground ball. So Manhasset's won four of those. Cold Spring Harbor has won six. Here's Perfetto. Missed a shot on a free position earlier this game. Perfetto, five foot nine, one of the tallest players on the field. Length and wingspan that translate to a whole lot of success on the basketball court to her, but also make her division one lacrosse player, Soskin. Snatches up the loose ball, kickstarts the break to Kessler. Jenna Kessler, now Mulata. Hyper athletic freshman. And seriously, you should watch her play some point guard. One of the best I've seen on Nassau County as a freshman. Reynolds patiently waits out the double. Kessler on for offense this possession. Three goals a game ago. Cold Spring Harbor now taking their time up by two. Final four minutes of this first half. A little give and go. Knocked away. Matty Chun, Manhasset's top defender, breaking it up. Cassiopo, hounded by Bentley, throws it away, up for grabs. Scoop in space for Minhasset. Breaking up to Panzik. Panzik ahead. Two on two, lacrosse, and Saskin the stop on the doorstep, denying Perfetto a point blank look. And that's why Maya Saskin's an All American. How about this navigation from Mulata? Just a freshman. Ambitious pass up the field. Mulata has a good chance to be a starter. By the end of this season, she is just too talented to keep off the field. Manhasset's defense has bailed them out all season long. So crucial down the stretch against Wontaw. Pass squeezed in, and there's a six goal. What a finish. Torching the turf, Olivia Mulata, the first of her high school career. Low shot for the freshman. Let's replay that one more time. And Olivia Mulata, man, running full speed. And, and how about this pass, too? I just wanted to catch you through the pass. Looks like it was Maggie Spare. And that's not an easy pass over the top. Mulata, a small target, dueling with a senior in Lena Schaefer. 
and able to beat her. Six to three lead for Cold Spring Harbor. 2.33 to go in the first half. And we will step aside on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching Cold Spring Harbor against Manhattan. High school sports fans, Varsity Media Pass is the exclusive live stream partner of Nassau County Playoffs. For semifinal and championship coverage of boys and girls lacrosse, softball, and baseball, head to varsitymediapass.com to order. Varsity Media is the home for New York high school sports. Are you a local business looking for new and creative ways to promote your company? Varsity Media offers affordable rates that can get your message across to a demographic of 18 to 54 years of age. Our follower base across social media is over 50,000 strong and our viewership numbers per game are in the thousands. Don't blow your advertising budget on old staples like TV and radio media. Reach out to Varsity Media to get the best bang for your buck. Coming back onto the field, trying to avoid their first loss of the season. And they have a pretty loaded upcoming schedule. South side at home, trip to Port Washington, Woodstick game right here, 420 against Garden City. Take on uh, Upstate Power Suffern, Seaford, tough game against Darien in the games for brains, one of the best teams in the country out of Connecticut. Should be fun to watch the Indians all season long. Manhasset get a little bit, or rather Cold Spring Harbor, a little bit more battle tested. They played twice as many games this year due to some scheduling quirks, and that's a draw control victory. Spielberger, that was almost field hockey style, batting it up. Malata, after that brilliant goal, makes a mistake here. Sophie Minneroff on the takeaway. Giannakopoulos. Skip pass, reset to her. I gotta admire the way the ball moved from Manhattan. It's, it's, it's a little different than almost any other team on Long Island. Super ambitious in the types of passes they make. A tough catch right there from Gordon. Gordon again, just a sophomore, along with Cassiopo, the two next two faces, I'm gonna say, of this Manhattan program. That was a tough look and a behind the head shot. Soskin wasn't fooled. But after Soskin gave up three goals on the first three shots, she has been picture perfect since. Go back to Soskin's freshman year. Her first as a starter set a state record with 22 saves in a state semifinal loss against Bronxville. You knew early she was special. A lot of fresh off the first goal of her career. We'll touch it along to Callahan. Bentley from X. And officials stop play. Not sure if it's a Cold Spring Harbor timeout or... No, it's a critical error. Just a penalty. Looks like it's that. So free position coming up for Reynolds. Reynolds between two defenders had her shot deflected. And it looks like Manhasset will get it back. With Schlafer winning the race to the ball. Just 40 seconds to go in the first half. Manhasset has to go quickly, but no need to rush. They're rushing right now just to beat the ride. Transition for Manhasset. Panzik already has one goal. That's going to be a shooting space violation. As Mackenzie McGraw rotated in. Trying to get the stop. Panzik an opportunity to cut the lead to two. The Vanderbilt commit. A powerhouse hardest shot on this team. Expected her step down and fire. Panzik all the way in. Couple of fakes and beats Soskin. That is best on best. And the duel goes the way of Shea Panzik. One more look. Panzik got Soskin on the pump. Soskin couldn't recover. 
And Panzik makes it a two goal game with 18 and a half seconds to go. And now Cold Spring Harbor has to be careful. They've done so much work to build that three goal lead, had scored four in a row. But we see how quickly Manhassan can get it back. You flash back to the first six minutes of the game, took five minutes for Cold Spring Harbor to go up two nothing, took 10 seconds for Manhassan to even it up. Carrie Torino calls for a redo on the DC. 17 and a half seconds to go in the first half. Here we go on the whistle. Reynolds flips it up. Looks like Newman's going to be the first there. Newman winning the ground ball. Manhasset, opportunity to cut the lead to just one. Taylor Gordon uncovered, streaking in, fired wide. And that'll do it. The clock will expire on Manhasset, who cuts the lead to two. As we take another look, Gordon firing wide. Great job by Mila Pinto to get there quickly. I didn't think she was going to be able to get the pass off. Just did. Not enough time for Manhasset to put it on the cage. So an exciting first half. Culminates in Cold Spring Harbor leading 6-4. to four. Battle of Undefeateds. We'll be back in just five minutes for half number two on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Dante does it again! Defensive play. Dante Pizarro. Steps up and score. The jump shot, Fennell. High school sports fans, Varsity Media Pass is the exclusive live stream partner of Nassau County Playoffs. For semifinal and championship coverage of boys and girls lacrosse, softball, and baseball, head to varsitymediapass.com to order. Varsity Media is the home for New York high school sports. Are you a local business looking for new and creative ways to promote your company? Varsity Media offers affordable rates that can get your message across to a demographic of 18 to 54 years of age. Our follower base across social media is over 50,000 strong and our viewership numbers per game are in the thousands. Don't blow your advertising budget on old staples like TV and radio media. Reach out to Varsity Media to get the best bang for your buck. Hey parents, how about a bobblehead for your athlete? Bobbleheads are one of the most preferred personalized gift items today, and it's so easy to order. All you need is a photo of your athlete, a model number from our extensive collection of bobbleheads, and the sculpting process begins. Two proofs are sent for your approval, and once it's approved, in a few weeks, your bobblehead is on the way. It's that simple. Order your bobblehead today by logging into varsitymediapass.com and click catalogs or call 516-403-2050. Hey sports fans, did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcer storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today, 516-403-2050. Four zero three twenty fifty, or email Ben at varsitymedia.net. When it comes to advertising, are you hitting the right audience? Why waste your time with television or a free print publication that's given out at a local deli? Varsity Media has your back. With a following of over 50,000 and a local demographic ranging between the ages of 18 and 54 years old, it's time to get that return on investment. Plus, here's the best part. Your ad lives forever on our YouTube page. And with a large on-demand audience, it's a grand slam to advertise with Varsity Media. 
Did you know Varsity Media now offers action photography for all sporting events? Available for individuals or teams, we'll send dedicated photographers down to field level to capture your best moments. Our rates are affordable and our photos will leave you with lasting memories for a lifetime. Contact us today, mention this ad, and get $25 off your first order. Email ben at varsitymedia.net or call 516-403-2050. Varsity Media offers live streaming services for any sport. With human beings behind the camera, you can expect the proper coverage angles during each game. We offer customizable options such as live scoreboard, multiple cameras, instant replay, graphics, and even announcers. Find out how you can save $100 off a live stream package with Varsity Media by calling 516-403-2050 or email Ben at Varsity Media. Feel like you're. It's time for our Speed Island play of the day on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Manhasset not winning on the scoreboard after 24 minutes of play. They are winning on our Speed Island play of the day. Remember, you can improve your speed today with Onyx Salva and Company located in Garden City. Book a session today at speedislandny.com. And now let's take a look at Nicole Gianna Coppolis, the Harvard commit, injured for much of last season, coming off a hamstring injury. She looks healthy today, weaving through four different defenders and then beating Maya Soskin low, opposite side. What a finish for Gianna Coppolis. That tied the game up at two. Manhasset went on to take a three to two lead. As we want to remind you, that was the Speedy Island play, or rather Speedy play of the game. Visit www.speedislandny.com to improve your speed today. And Cold Spring Harbor started up two to nothing. And Manhasset answered with three straight goals. Cold Spring Harbor said bet. They ripped off four in a row. Manhasset tacking one on in the final minutes. Well, not even the final minutes, the final 45 seconds of that first half for Cold Spring Harbor. A goal for Amelia Bentley, two for Ryan Reynolds, Maggie Spare, Ruby Spielberger, Olivia Mulata, one apiece for Mulata, the first of what should be many in a fantastic high school career. For Manhasset, it was Neil Pinto, the senior headed to USC, her first commit, or her first goal, excuse me, it's also her first commit, Nicole Giannacopoulos. Got the second, as we just showed you, and then Shea Panzik poured in goals three and four. Biggest concern coming into this one for Cold Spring Harbor was the draw control circle. They were able to win six out of ten in the first half. Ryan Reynolds to take it for Cold Spring Harbor. Taylor Gordon in there for Manhasset, and coming out of the pack, Amelia Bentley playing on the circle. Manhasset ride forces her backwards. And Manhasset, they apply heat in a way you don't often see in the girls game, just division one athletes across the board. Like getting attacked by Piranhas, Colter and Harbor though. Again, they're ready for the kind of speed they're seeing in this game. Daniel Castellane very intentionally put together one of the hardest schedules any team in the state is playing, much less any team in Class D. Already beating a top 10 team in the country in Victor, knocking off another upstate power in Penfield. They beat Long Beach. 13 to 12 victory there. It's a group. The 13 juniors that have been a key fixture on this team since they were freshmen, and two of them connect here. Bentley to Spielberger, the bounce shot to beat Cassiopo, as Cold Spring Harbor has now scored five of the last six goals in this game. The one-timer for Spielberger on the duck-in. Man, what a finish. For Ruby Spielberger. And Daniel Castellane looking like a prophet right now, saying coming into this one, 
Spielberger should have more goals. She's an excellent finisher. She wanted to make it an emphasis to get Spielberger more shots. And Spielberger, the stud junior, has delivered today. I mean, her and Ryan Reynolds next season is a pair of seniors. My God, I don't know what the rest of Nassau County is going to do. Initially a win for Cold Spring Harbor. Gordon rotating over to the wing. Instead gets it for Manhasset. Panzik blocked that time on the slide from Louie. And here's Newman. Gordon Panzik weaving into heavy traffic. Panzik, even as a sophomore, played a key role on that 2022 state championship team. She is ultra physical. And even then could overwhelm opponents with her strength as a senior. Even more deadly this time. Hits it off the post. And Saskin frustrated. There's the shooting space infraction called on Cold Spring Harbor. Free position coming up for Cassidy Harley. Or excuse me, no, Harley. A few feet back. So a lighter penalty on Cold Spring Harbor. Weaving is Newman. Newman has a propensity for the clutch goal. Got the game winner a year ago in the Nassau County Finals against North Shore. Panzik vacuumed up that time by Michelle Coles. On the run, and it'll be free position on a shooting space violation for Mia Lapinto. Got the first goal of this game and now a golden opportunity at her second. USC against Florida. Lapinto, a special shot placement, can finish from multiple levels. You see it here! An absolute laser to the top right corner. Oh man, that was a dirty shot by Mia Lapinto. To cut the lead back to two. Walking away like she's James Bond coming off an explosion. And what else was that from Lapinto? Has some real swagger as a senior. Star of the basketball team as well for Manhasset. Team that fell to East Meadow in the Nassau County Finals. There's the rain picking up a bit here at Manhasset High School. One of the lacrosse capitals of America. State champions on the boys' side in 2022 and on the girls' side in 2022. Boys won again last year. Nassau girls, of course, falling in a battle of the Titans. It's the Bayport Blue Point team that ultimately finished ranked top 10 in the country. it now eight for 13 in the circle there's Bentley quarterbacks from X he was initially reluctant to make the move as she had so much success attacking from up top pass midway through her junior season by Daniel Castellane to make the switch and you see what she can do on a crease roll but apparently stepped in the crease So Manhasset, another opportunity to get this game within one. Had a good look at it in the closing moments of the first half. Ultimately ran out of time. Here's Newman. <laughs> Jackie Williams wanting Panzik to go at Jenna Kessler. Bates the switch, tried to slip it in. Coles broke up the pass. And here's Mulata, or rather Rachel Louie, so much more confident this year clearing the ball. Zoe Soskin will work it back to her twin. 
Kessler. Able to beat the ride and this time will come off for offense to get Reynolds on the right side of the restraining line. Daniel Castellane telling her team not to force anything here up by two. Final six minutes and 40 seconds of the third quarter. Cold Spring Harbor, what are the odds in their second bus accident in a week? Game was delayed for an hour. Two bus accidents, no injuries, fortunately. Fifth game in seven days, could have come in exhausted, weary, and every reason not to show up tonight, and they, they've been awesome, though. A turnover here, and racing to the cages, Panzik, she'll get an edge, Panzik! Cut off well, did not ultimately have an angle to goal. Gordon thought she had run it out. Said the officials say Louie got there first. Unless they were calling that a pass from Panzik, then it would automatically be a Cold Spring Harbor ball upon going out of play. Uh, here's Reynolds. These teams have had some epic battles over the year, both winning state championships in 2018. If memory serves, Manhasset's only lost that season was to Cold Spring Harbor. Combined seven state titles between the two schools. Cold Spring Harbor winning their only two back-to-back -back in 2018 and 2019. Manhasset won in 2019. Nassau County in 21. Won again in 22, won Nassau last year before falling to Bayport Blue Point, 9-6 in the Long Island Championship. Graduating Caitlin Barrett, five-star headed to Duke, excelling in her freshman season now. But brought back a whole lot. Along with uh, Alex Schneider, top 25 player in the country going to Virginia, who was unfortunately injured for the bulk of the season, missed that game against Bayport Blue Point. Cold Spring Harbor, we mentioned losing Hannah Van Son, but some of them has to bring back the bulk of their team from last year. And we'll do so again after this season. With the talented junior class leading the way, a spare lofts it in, losing the ball is Reynolds. Wow, no call there. A lot of physicality, but all of it legal for Manhasset. And on the run, Gianna Kopolis always going 150 miles per hour, fastest player on this team. Checked out of her stick at the last possible second, but Panzik, right place, right time to race down the ground ball. Inside the final four minutes of the third, Lapinto attempting the two-woman game with Panzik, overthrew it. Cold Spring Harbor will get it back, up by two. Kessler harassed by Lilia Serra. And Louie able to finish off the clearance. Numbers now for Cold Spring Harbor, but Spare will reset. Manhasset's done a nice job being aggressive on the ride, but still able to settle in on defense. I think they've held Cold Spring Harbor without a transition goal. Maybe one for the Seahawks. Conversely, though, Cold Spring Harbor has done a much better job in settled situations offensively than they have in recent games. 15th ranked team in the country trying to stay undefeated are the Seahawks. Callahan attempting to bully her way in, lost her footing. Malata. An illicit attempt to get it back, and now the Indians can push in transition. Right up the middle, Newman centers it. Acera back to Newman! Newman! And it's seven to six, just like that. A 
Ali Newman delivering the mail and the goals. Cornell commit, three years running. She's had a propensity for the big play, a favorite of one of our buddies on the Varsity Media Sports Network, Tracy Wiener, longtime legendary Farmingdale head coach. Holly Newman is, is just a coach's favorite because she's a workhorse, she eats up ground balls, she's amazing on the circle, but also has that really high skill level to find those big time goals when they're needed most. DC flipped up high, and Cold Spring Harbor will have it. It would look like, couldn't tell who, someone on the Manhasset side crossed that restraining line. Look at Reynolds. One woman clearance. Taking on four white jerseys. Lofts it cross field. Coming over to help a Spielberger. And Manhasset still at it. Like a pack of wolves. Mulata. Great poise from the freshman. Final 90 seconds. This is a situation where you think it would make sense for Cold Spring Harbor to hold for the final shot, but whenever they've tried to do that, it has largely backfired this season. So expect them to be aggressive, not hold their horses. Knocked out of the stick of Marino. Penalty against Manhasset. It was on the catch, Gordon. Did not give Marino enough room. Clock stopped at 107, but it should be running. Now it goes. I don't know why it says set the clock. Manhasset has consistently had the same look. Passing out of those situations and then finishing. Maggie Spare. Her second of the ball game. Cold Spring Harbor, I was, I was gonna say before Spare put in that low shot, might have been through the five hole on Cassiopo. We've seen that consistently for Cold Spring Harbor. If they have someone with a free position who is not one of their top goal scorers, in that case it was Gianna Marino, they'll reset it. And I, I think if you're Manhasset, they've been so geared to just charge towards the player with the free position, hard for them to reset and redirect their attention elsewhere. Spare, super quick, super smart, lethal finisher, knows exactly what to do with it. Her older sister, Annie, formerly a star for Cold Spring Harbor now, playing at Middlebury. Maggie Spare, still a junior, but I think a chance potentially to play at an even higher level. So it'll be Manhasset ball on procedure. Five DCs for Cold Spring Harbor, six for Manhasset in this game. Cold Spring Harbor certainly improving on their 30% hit rate on the year, winning 66% so far in this one. Or 60% rather. Gordon up top. Last 20 seconds of the third quarter. Newman will have a free position after Coles committed the violation. Clock continues to run, so she has to go on the whistle, but might run out of time here. Has to just fire and didn't get it off, at least accurately. It's a running clock, and that's such a tricky situation as a player because you're at the mercy the official blowing the whistle. Two minute break and we'll head to the fourth. Cold Spring Harbor up by two. Both sides undefeated. One won't be in just 12 minutes on the Varsity Media Sports Network.
Varsity Media offers live streaming services for any sport. With human beings behind the camera, you can expect the proper coverage angles during each game. We offer customizable options such as live scoreboard, multiple cameras, instant replay, graphics, and even announcers. Find out how you can save $100 off a live stream package with Varsity Media by calling 516-403-2050 or email Ben at varsitymedia.net. Did you know Varsity Media now offers action photography for all sporting events? Available for individuals or teams, we'll send dedicated photographers down to field level to capture your best moments. Our rates are affordable and our photos will leave you with lasting memories for a lifetime. Contact us today, mention this ad, and get $25 off your first order. Email ben at varsitymedia.net or call 516-403-2050. Rain coming down in droves here at Manhasset High School. As the great Hillary Duff once said, let the rain come down and break my dreams. It's breaking Manhasset's dreams right now of an undefeated season, unless they can come back from two goals down, as we'll take a look at the Varsity Media Power Rankings, a.k.a. which teams should be insulted. St. Anthony's, well, they're the number one team in America right now, so they should be number one. Garden City, number two at 4-0. Oh, I don't know about that little bit of disrespect to Gold Spring Harbor, who's beaten a top 10 team in the country. And Victor, maybe they move up with a win today. Sayville, big time victory over Bayport Blue Point there in fourth. Manhasset in fifth. Ward Melville, always good, three and one there in sixth. And Syosset, Wontaw, Northport, West Hampton. All right, I have some issues with Bayport Blue Point being at 12th. Ryan Gick squad has taken on an extraordinarily tough schedule. They were the number two team in the country to start this year, so that is a little bit low. Massapequa, Rocky Point, and Floyd round out our power rankings. Um, we'll see how that that comes uh, to be true or not true by the end of this season. They don't let me vote in it, so I'm allowed I'm allowed to critique a little bit. Clock set to 12 minutes. Fourth quarter about to get underway. After an even third, defensively oriented, two goals apiece for both these teams. Manhasset undefeated at three and zero. Cold Spring Harbor trying to win their fifth game in seven days. Manhasset will open up the fourth with possession. Giannakopoulos vacuums up the ground ball. So good at that. Remember a, a quote from former coach Meg Clark on her when she was just a sophomore saying she'd run through a brick wall for her teammates. As an elite motor, special speed. And the Harvard Crimson are, are getting a good one when she'll head up to Cambridge next year to join her older sister, Despina. Youngest sister, Alexia, heading to Virginia. Smart family. Couple fakes and then the finish. Holly Clutch Newman makes it a one goal game. Newman a couple of different moves. Found some room and beat Soskin low. Big draw control here for Cold Spring Harbor. They've tilted the game by winning these. Taylor Gordon and Ryan Reynolds. Junior versus sophomore. Quick whistle, so they'll run it back. Jerry Cunningham not liking the look of that. Came into our booth, grabbed the coat. We're very, very happy to be in the booth. I don't blame him. It is brutal out there. Same result, though. Flipped right to Gordon. Gordon loses it. Chance for a ground ball win for Cold Spring Harbor. Bentley fighting hard. 
Chopped up high. Gordon able to deflect it. Wow, how did Gordon find that ball? And cradling it the other way is Panzik. And losing it inexplicably. Maybe the slickness of the ball due to the rain. Mila Pinto, you don't often see mistakes like that from the star senior. Here's Zoe Soskin. And a timeout from Daniel Castellane. The wind picking up here in Manhasset. Some thoughts that they might end up canceling the game. And then on top of the weather, you had the bus accident for Manhasset. And Soskin will have it here on the restart. Spielberger and Cold Spring Harbor going the wrong way, but that's a great first step by Rachel Louie, jolting through the gap. Oh, slick move by Louie, and the white sea parts. Louie to Mulata. Cold Spring Harbor will slow for the moment. Awesome clearance by Louie and a win. Tend to remember the fancy goals. The jaw-dropping saves. You don't often remember great clears, but if Cold Spring Harbor holds on, That'll be a defining sequence in this one from Rachel Louie. Harper, Harper, Harper. Let's go, super shifty. Spare. Battling against Newman. Tried to center the ball to Bentley, who was essentially tackled. You go hard across the middle in girls lacrosse, you generally get rewarded. It's a free position for Amelia Bentley. Held in check since scoring the initial goal of this one. Hoping for her 22nd of the season. Cassiopo struggled on these three position shots and continues to. Through the five hole, Amelia Bentley, her second. And once again, a little bit of breathing room for the Seahawks. Low shot bounced right between Cassiopo's legs. Has been good up high, but has had some trouble with those low bouncers. And the rain on the grass can even put some spin on that ball. I would think anyways. Here's Gordon and Reynolds doing battle again. Hassett really needs a win here. They'll get it. Gordon with the stick exchange. Now stepping back up. Draws a, draws a slide that time from Spare. Panzik, the crease roll. Forced a reset by Coles. Skip pass. Gianna Coppolis wanted to take the step down shot. Back up there in the form of Panzik. Panzik, two older brothers on the Manhasset boys team. Logan and Hunter. Hunter. Key piece of that 2022 state championship team. As Maya Soskin, with the head of her stick, just able to get a piece of that ball. Take another look at that save. Soskin, man, just clipped it. Now off the turnover, I think Louie was looking for a penalty. Gordon will just lob it ahead. Panzik backing down, falling and passing as she lost her footing on the wet grass. Big time ground ball, one 
by Manhasset. Alexia Giannakopoulos coming up for deep, coming up from defense. Howling wind, high stakes here at Manhasset High School. Pivotal early season matchup in the Nassau County Power Conference. Of course, Manhasset in Class B, Cold Spring Harbor, Class D. They're not teams that'll face each other in the playoffs, but both coaches, look at this as the type of game that gets you ready for state play. Diving on the brink of goal, Lapinto. And a shooting space violation will set her up for a one-on-one -on -one opportunity with Soskin. USC against Florida. Lapinto came in three goals on the season, has a chance for her third here. Lapinto goes, Lapinto shoots, Lapinto scores. A hat trick for Mia Lapinto. An innate ability to shoot from multiple levels. That time a sidewinder delivery to get it past Soskin. See the battle along the circle. Reynolds could really use a clean win here as Manhasset starting to get the better of the ground ball situation is able to pop it out to Mulata. I mean, what faith from Daniel Castellane trusting a freshman on the circle in that situation. Such a bright future in both basketball and lacrosse. Might even have a higher ceiling in lacrosse just because of her size. It's a little bit more of a niche sport, obviously. Spielberger, Reynolds. Bentley back up top. Spielberger turning on the Jets, fired wide. Back up there in the form of Kelly Callahan. Pressure applied by Lena Schlafer. Fifth game in seven days for the Seahawks. Had to play multiple national level competitions. Victor, a top 10 team in Hassan. It's that type of talent. Tic tac toe passing. Cold Spring Harbor doesn't care. Gianna Marino from Amelia Bentley. And the lead back to two. Bentley's third goal on the season, a big target. Does a great job keeping her stick high. Taking advantage of Cassiopo's relative lack of height. Pour that one in over the top. 4.20 to go. Manhasset has repeatedly cut the lead down to one. And every time they have, the Seahawks have found an answer. Rain letting up a little bit here in Manhasset. Sets up a great finish here with 4.18 to go. Jerry Cunningham making sure Everything set up correctly. Gordon able to flip it to herself. Manhasset not nearly as aggressive on the ride as Cold Spring Harbor is that time looking to set it up and the skip pass beat them. But now Newman not able to clasp it 
Spare fought, but coming up with the ball is Harley. No need to rush just yet for Manhasset, but they do have to operate decisively. Jackie Williams calling for ball movement. Panzik on the cut. Knocked away by Reynolds. That'll be free position for Shea Panzik. Maya Soskin has to stand on her head once again for Cold Spring Harbor. We saw Panzik take it all the way in last time. It's one of the harder shots in Nassau County. He can certainly just step down and fire, but you see she's gearing up for a race. Panzik bullies in! Panzik puts it home! Yet another hat trick for Shea Panzik. 16 goals in just four games. The Vanderbilt commit missed a lot of time with an ankle injury a year ago, and she is making up for lost time. That's a future SEC matchup with Panzik heading to Vanderbilt, Soskin heading to Florida. Going to be a fun rivalry in the next five years. Or for the next five years with Soskin just being a junior. 3.07 to go here. Cold Spring Harbor nursing a one goal lead. Gordon. They'll reset for another try in the circle. It's Carrie Antorino gets the stick settled in. Cold Spring Harbor could play keep away if they get it here. Again, that is not the way they've operated most of this season. Gordon had it for a second, then lost it. It was inside the stick of Perfetto, but Manhasset comes up with the ball anyways. Less than ideal spacing for the Indians, but nice job from Alexia Giannakopoulos just dragging things out. Manhasset has not had it tied since it was three to three. Turn around shot, oh, that was a beaut. A magic trick from Mia Lapinto. And the Indians have belatedly tied things up with two and a half minutes to go. Fourth goal of the game. For Lapinto, and it's the best one yet. Stopping on a dime. Turn around, jump shot. Oh, that was dirty. Have yourself a day, Mia Lapinto. Two straight goals for Manhasset. Can they take their first lead since the first quarter? Be a signature win for Jackie Williams in her first year. Ball skimming, nearly out of play. Mulata, great speed to run it down. I'm surprised we aren't seeing Daniel Castellane take a timeout here. A lot of faith in her team that has been on the field for some big moments. Can junior heavy team, sometimes that would indicate inexperience, not the case for Cold Spring Harbor. Most of these girls have played a role since they were freshmen. 13 sophomores, a fixture on last season's team that fell just one game short of a state championship appearance, losing six to five in the final four to eventual state champs, Skinny Atlas. Bentley in no rush, not tagged with just under 100 seconds to go. Cold Spring Harbor trying to hold for the final shot in Manhasset, at least so far content to let them. Now pressing up on Callahan. 
Over to Malata, just a freshman. Reynolds, directing traffic. Sending Malata away. You hear Jackie Williams yelling out for Alexia Giannakopoulos to watch the drive from Reynolds. Reynolds, the Maryland commit, already two goals in this game. Now less than a minute left. You get a great opportunity, you have to take it. Now the double will come towards Reynolds. Reynolds forced to give it up. Malata rotates it around. Callahan stepping down over to Bentley. 40 seconds to go. Bentley trying to pick out a cutter, still untagged from X. Cold Spring Harbor, you, you want to get the last shot, but you also want to make sure you get a quality look. Has to be some urgency in the next 10 seconds or so for Cold Spring Harbor. Bentley still waiting, now looking for a cutter. Bentley leaves it off! Oh, the save! Cassiopo! Point blank range denying Spielberger! Now Manhasset will try to work it up the field. Seven seconds left, clock is still running. They just have to throw it. Gianna Coppolis, the clock stops with three seconds left as Manhasset takes a timeout. Let's take another look. Spielberger tried to go opposite side. Cassiopo, the quick reflex. And we might be heading to overtime here on the Varsity Media Sports Network as we'll take a look at our upcoming girls lacrosse sports cast here on Varsity Media. Woodstick game, Garden City against Manhasset, 4 p.m. on April 20th. That'll be right here at Manhasset High School and then Massapequa defending Long Island champs in Class A. We'll take on Cold Spring Harbor defending Long Island champs in Class D. And then Cold Spring Harbor and Wontaw. That should be a heck of a matchup. Wontaw giving Manhasset all they could handle last game. St. Anthony's Manhasset, an excellent way to wrap up the girls across season, that one on May 10th at 7 p.m., I think. If I'm remembering correctly, I'll be on the call for that game. Should be a whole lot of fun as you see a look inside Manhasset's huddle. And we, we mentioned there were 3.3 on the clock. It was initially reset to seven seconds. Now Jerry Cunningham coming over, clarifying with the clock operator to reset to five seconds. In a 10-10 ball game, Manhasset. Still on their own side of the field. You just have to chuck it and pray. A Hail Mary situation. And if not, we will ascend to overtime. In this game that was pushed back an hour. Might just go a little bit later. Taylor Gordon... Starting things off, and you see Kelly Callahan on the ball, holding her stick as high as she can, trying to make that pass as difficult as possible. Bentley going to run over and double. Here's the lob, cross the field, and we'll skip out of play, and that will do it. We are headed to overtime on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Manhasset, two late goals to tie things up. Cold Spring Harbor had an opportunity late as Spielberger was shut down by Cassiopo, the save of the game to save the game. Five minute overtime coming up in five minutes next on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Hey sports fans, did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcers' storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today, 516-403-2050, or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Are you a local business looking for new and creative ways to promote your company? Varsity Media offers affordable rates that can get your message across to a demographic of 18 to 54 years of age. Our follower base across social media is over 50,000 strong and our viewership numbers per game are in the thousands. Don't blow your advertising budget on old staples like TV and radio media. Reach out to Varsity Media to get the best bang for your buck.
Hey, sports fans, did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcer's storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today, 516-403-2050, or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Are you a local business looking for new and creative ways to promote your company? Varsity Media offers affordable rates that can get your message across to a demographic of 18 to 54 years of age. Our follower base across social media is over 50,000 strong and our viewership numbers per game are in the thousands. Don't blow your advertising budget on old staples like TV and radio media. Reach out to Varsity Media to get the best bang for your buck. Hey, sports fans, did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcer's storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today, 516-403-2050, or email ben at varsitymedia.net. And we are back here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Overtime between Cold Spring Harbor and Manhasset. We want to issue a correction. It was Hannah Rubin on that save for Manhasset, not Ruby Cassiopa. Hannah Rubin has been for the second half. It has been excellent for Manhasset. Especially down the stretch of this ball game. So here we go. Rules of overtime. Three-minute period. Sudden death. And Cold Spring Harbor will start things off with the ball. Here's Ryan Reynolds. Cold Spring Harbor had an opportunity to win the final moments of regulation. Now a chance in overtime. Bentley tagged by Newman. Bentley got the ninth goal in this one after scoring the first. Bentley one on one. Cut off well by Holly Newman. Looking for a cutter. Reynolds has a step. Reynolds and a shooting space violation appeared to be pretty clear cut on Maddie Chun as she had her stick locked up with Ruben or locked up with, excuse me, Ryan Reynolds. As we'll take a really quick look at the replay. You saw the stick across the body. An excellent stop by Ruben. Negated by the penalty, so here we go. Final seconds, and the shot deflected. The shot deflected. What a defensive effort by Minhasset. An infraction, though, going for the loose ball. So Bentley's hustle will win it back for Cold Spring Harbor. The clock does stop, doesn't run in OT. Now at 2.13, Spielberger, Reynolds, one goal wins it. Cold Spring Harbor, by and large, has controlled the game. They got the first two goals. Manhasset had three in a row. Cold Spring Harbor responded with four in a row. They were up by either two or one until the final three minutes when Manhasset, via Mia Lapinto, finally tied it up. Can Bentley end it here? Bentley versus Chun. Manhasset's top defender, Hannah Rubin, has been excellent all second half. The senior in the cage heading to Bowdoin. Reynolds ducks in. Reynolds fires wide. Who has the backup racing hard for Manhasset? Lena Schlafer and the Indians now. An excellent opportunity to end Cold Spring Harbor's undefeated reign. No Manhasset. How about the speed of Taylor Gordon? A Maserati on the field. Now to Newman. Now expect Manhasset to potentially hold for the last shot. Though in a sudden death scenario, obviously that matters a lot less. You score, it's over. We'll go wide to Panzik. Final minute of OT number one. Reset up top. Taylor Gordon, the star sophomore.
Panzik. Three goals already, and here's Lepinto right into the waiting stick of Maya Soskin. Soskin in no rush. With 25 seconds to go in OT. Louis pressured. Lofted across the field. Here's Michelle Coles. Has not had to do a lot of working clearances. Asking a lot of Michelle Coles. But that's an excellent job by her. Just final five seconds. Cold Spring Harbor lost it in. Shot at the horn and Rubin stopped it. Oh man, Hannah Rubin. Spectacular save at the end of regulation. Saves the game again for Manhasset. Cold Spring Harbor, such a good job running this break. Here's Spielberger cutting in, was spare, intercepting a pass as intended for Reynolds and Rubin, the senior. Oh, man. A starter at least part-time since her sophomore year, and she comes up big. So we'll take one more quick break. Overtime number two. Or you know what, we'll keep it right here. They're, they're getting right to it. Supposed to have a three minute break. They are not going to. Cold Spring Harbor's ready to get home after the bus accident. Fifth game in seven days. Got to imagine the Seahawks are exhausted. They've survived every battle so far. Last game against Long Beach went into overtime. Now this game going into double overtime. Danielle Castellane's squad could deserve a break and Jackie Williams side chomping at the bit. To notch a signature win over a top 15 team in the country. Giannakopoulos. Taking in some instruction from the Manhasset sideline. Double overtime, 10 to 10, Manhasset. Down by as many as three goals. Kept it within two for most of the second half. Kept getting the lead down to one. Could not get closer until Mila Pinto tied the game up at 10. Here's Panzik hunting. Lapinto. Cross field. Risky pass. Skips away from Newman. Newman just able to keep it in. Newman puts on the Jets. Draws a slide. Set to Panzik. Panzik bobbles but recovers. Lapinto. Slinging one across her body, high on the shot. But was there a shooting space violation before the release? No, but back up there for Manhasset. Final two minutes of overtime number two. Panzik one-on-one, -on -one, has a step on Louis Panzik trying to go cross body. Soskin cut off the angle. Manhasset's done a great job, though, recovering these ground balls. Lapinto resets. Here's Gordon. Everyone catch your breath. A thrilling finish here at Manhasset High School. Sudden death lacrosse. Two-woman game, but Gordon threw it away looking for Newman. And a timeout called for by Danielle Castellane wanting to set up what could be the final sequence here with 1.22 to go. Assistant coach Rory Malone, you heard him, fired up. As is Ryan Towers. 10 to 10 ball game, 122 to go. We wanted to remind you, if you want to have as much fun as we're having right now, you too can book a sports cast. Let Varsity Media broadcast your lacrosse games. Great for rivalry games, homecoming senior day, and playoffs. Email Varsity Media sponsors at gmail.com or call 917-470-0864. Mention this ad and get 25% off your sports cast. We can't guarantee double overtime, but we can guarantee 25% off your sports cast if you mention this ad. 10 to 10 ball game, Danielle Castellane in her 17th season leading this program. A legendary career at Farmingdale High School before going on to play at Hofstra. Lost in her senior year in the Long Island Championship, had an excellent career at Hofstra as a defender. And it's easy to forget, given all the success on the boys' side, but this Cold Spring Harbor program was just kind of getting started when Danielle Castellane came in, thought she'd come in and win immediately, but it took 
a little bit of time to build things up. Took six years before they won the counties in 2013 and then the first ever Long Island Championship in 2014, building to state championships in 2018, 2019. She thought the best version of that team was going to come in 2020. Absolutely loaded senior class. Unfortunately, the season canceled due to the pandemic. The team went on to win a Long Island Championship in 21, 2022, and 2023. Following the last two years in the New York State Final Four. Trying to complete a perfect start to their season. Their fifth game in seven days. And nearly a drop, but Cold Spring Harbor able to beat the ride. What a catch by Michelle Coles. Final minute of overtime, number two. Seahawks trying to beat Hannah Rubin, who stood on her head in the biggest moments of this one, a save with 14 seconds left, and then another one at the horn of the first overtime. On Ruby Spielberger. Ryan Reynolds looking for an outlet. Final 30 seconds. Reynolds still calm. Manassa doing a great job tracking the cuts that have plagued them this entire game and a misfire on the pass. Manhasset had a chance to break, 13 seconds to go. Indians going to have to go fast. Panzik centering. Panzik on the catch, oh, and a shooting space violation. Stop the presses. And the clock with 2.5 seconds to go. Got it from Gordon. So this is what you want best on best. SEC versus SEC. Vanderbilt trying to score on Florida. Panzik has beaten Soskin three times. Soskin has stopped her at least as much. Doesn't get much better than this. To end the game, Shea Panzik. On the whistle goes, Panzik low, and she wins it! She wins it! Manhasset, the comeback victory, 11-10, to breaking Cold Spring Harbor's hearts at the horn. Panzik, couple of fakes. Diving shot after baiting Soskin out of the cage. Let's see that one more time. Soskin was calling for a crease violation. Did Panzik step into that circle? I don't think so on initial watch, but look, look at the feet this time. So Panzik goes, steps to the side. No, she stayed outside of it. She stayed outside of it. That is an excellent job by our two officials, Jerry Cunningham and Carrie Ann Torino. Spotting that that was not a crease violation. Fantastic footwork by Panzik. Got to imagine she has drilled that a million times. And she beat the best goalie on Long Island for my money in Maya Soskin. Comeback victory for Manhasset. They score the final three goals. And we'll wrap things up here from Manhasset High School for our fantastic varsity media crew. Led by our executive producer, Ben Turchin. Our technical director, Becca Kazix. Our camera operator, Rob Bianco. I am Gavin Shaw signing off here from Manhasset High School. What a matchup today, Manhasset, the 11-10 overtime victory.